essentially, in the post-pandemic world, do you think China will emerge as a number one economy? Well, I think that uh, it's, a, it's a very good question being posed out there. I think in, the, in terms of the uh, post-COVID recovery, China indeed has uh, probably uh, um, you know, stood out so far in 2020 and also 2021 as one of the fastest growing economy, especially at this size. Last year, China is one of the only sizable economy that achieved the positive GDP growth. And uh, this year, we're expecting China to achieve 8.5% uh, GDP growth as well. So that number is higher than the potential growth level uh, at somewhere probably between 55 to 6%. But we think given the low base from last year, this is very likely. And uh, what we are arguing for the long term is even more interesting, which is between now and 2035. That's an annual average of 4.7 percent growth per year for another 15 years. And we think China would be able to achieve it. What's the risk? The number one risk, <sighs> Helen. Well, the risks, uh, well, there is more than one risk, unfortunately. Even if that China delivers all the reforms that we think that uh, it has promised already to deliver and uh, it most likely will deliver, the problem is that there are many things that China cannot control by itself, right? For example, number one is that uh, what about the geopolitical, you know, environment that we're going to see in the in the in the next couple of years? We have no idea. Is this going to be a relatively more favorable relationship between the number one economy and number two economy, uh, U.S. and China? At least until the time when China surpasses the U.S., possibly around the time of 2027 to 2028, would that relationship remain sweet and uh, and uh, you know uh, peaceful? We're not so sure. And second, there are also other challenges, such as how about the environmental, uh, um, you know, kind of uh, commitment that China has already made, for example, on carbon neutral, uh, um, you know, uh, commit, uh, goal that China has already committed. Um, I think all these requires further collaboration with other countries, as well as China's own determination and further commitment uh, to such uh, such efforts.